How are you? I'm good. Uh, a couple days before the fight, man. Uh, Do I need to talk to him there? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> how, how, how are you feeling? Yeah, I feel good. Yeah. Awesome, man. Um, I mean, it, it's it's been it's been a two months since your fight. Uh, mm -hmm. I just wanted to know, like, your your um, thoughts on that on, on that performance. We had Natan in earlier. He said he still feels he wins. He won that fight. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about this performance? <laughs> It's such a weird question because he fairly won that fight. I feel I won that fight. Two judge fail. I won that fight and one judge fail. He won that fight. So who give a shit? <laughs> like who give a shit? Like, seriously, like who give a shit? I think uh, it could have been any one of us who won the, this fight. It was a tight fight, but uh, at the end of the day, I, I won. I mean, he had some fight in the PFL that people thought he lost. But he won the million dollars instead. Mm -hmm. So who cares? <laughs> like to be honest, who cares? Like he, he, if he win, if he lose, uh, it's done. It's done. He now he have to uh, to look at his next fight. And if he want to fight me again this season, he need to probably win the first round. Uh, so I think, I mean, I think it's useless to think about that. Uh, it's useless for me, and it's useless for him. Uh, it's not useless for you guys. That's for sure. But uh, for us, I think it's useless. Yeah. Uh, you don't have a graphic T on. It's kind of kind of just plain plain this time. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, thinking about uh, putting my uh, my good old uh, Arnold Arnie is the number one Uno. Yeah, where is it? Uh, it's in my room. <laughs> but uh, I said, yeah, fuck, they're gonna think I just have one T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided to go uh, uh, Koala. It's a, it's a company from Montreal uh, that is really plain. I don't know. I, like sometimes I, I feel like um, being more flashy. Sometimes I feel uh, that this is the best uh, way to, uh, to to put myself. Uh, I'm a re really big fan of uh, the Japanese uh, uh, streetwear, uh, but no, I guess not today. Uh, so <laughs> next time maybe. Well, you look good either way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> good fucking yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> um, the fight, ouch, man. So you're fighting a uh, last year's champion. Um, I guess how excited are you that you, you're getting him in your the second the second round, and then just kind of your, your your thoughts on the matchup. Uh, I think it's a pretty weird matchup that uh, PFL uh, did. I did an interview with this guy uh, <laughs> talking about that. Um, but yeah, I think it's a weird matchup. Uh, but at the end of the day, like I'm gonna fight uh, everybody in the division. I, all the best guy, I'm gonna fight them since it's a tournament. So uh, I don't care fighting them right now or after. But I, I do feel a little bit bad for uh, Manfio uh, since I think he deserved to do the the tournament. Um, but other than that, like he, uh, who cares? You know, uh, it's just that uh, the feeling I got. I think the fourth. Uh, the four best guys were me, uh, Schalke, uh, Manfew, and probably uh, Collard uh, in the in the division. And I think we should have uh, all four the four of us done the tournament. Uh, but I don't think the best guy is going to be in the tournament uh, this year, uh, since uh, I'm fighting Manfew and I fought Schalke already. So um, I think it's a weird matchup. Like I said, I don't understand really why. Uh, there's four winners that fight winners and one of them fight the uh, losers I don't want to take anything away from the, the, the loser but uh, I think uh, everybody every winner should fight a, a loser it's not fair if uh, if that it's not the case um, and the same the same thing goes for the for the losers I think uh, uh, they sh should all fight the winners now there's just one of them who fight a, a winners and which is a Stevie Ray and not only does he fight a winner but he fight after everybody so it's uh, I think it's kind of unfair for him I think it's kind of unfair for uh, what is his name Miles mm -hmm. uh, the, the one who fought with this I think it's I think Miles <laughs> isn't the worst spot I mean he, I just saw him uh, just before he's a pretty big guy and to do to make his weight uh, twice in what in a, in a month in a month and a half, it's it's pretty brutal. So I don't think it's fair for him. Uh, but you know, if, uh, life is unfair, and uh, we still have uh, the opportunity. So uh, I think we are lucky to have this opportunity with the PFL. Uh, so yeah, I think that's uh, 
my thoughts. Was it okay? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. fantastic. Um, uh, and finally, just ha- for you, how does it feel to be back competing? You're, you're you're on a schedule after sitting out last like sitting out last year. Now you're competing. You're ready to go. Just how how are you feeling? Uh, well, f- I mean, I'm in. That's what my fourth fight in two years. So uh, maybe it's uh, the question is a little bit outdated, but. Um, what I feel crazy about this year is I'm probably gonna be sober longer than not this year, and that's since I'm 16. So, <laughs> so I think it's crazy that this year I will be more sober than not sober, since I have to fight so many times and uh, I stopped drinking one month before a fight. So it's uh, I think it's pretty interesting. Um, uh, like last last fight, I I went crazy for a week or two, and then uh, straight to uh, to the gym again. And uh, to be uh, to be completely honest, I, I feel that maybe all the past year I was doing it, uh, I was doing it wrong. I think it's a lot better to go back straight away to the gym. Um, like a, fuck, I don't want a sponsor, but I have uh, like this uh, row ring that tell me all the statistic. Uh, uh, of my body and it's crazy how uh, the difference it make like uh, I, I beat all my record uh, this uh, this training camp and last training camp I was beating everything now I'm beating everything and probably next one I'm gonna beat everything uh, again uh, so my uh, uh, heart rate at rest never been that low uh, my uh, my sleep is good my weight is good so it's uh, it's pretty interesting to see uh, and uh, it's uh, it's uh, exciting too you know uh, yeah, I feel that I did everything wrong for the last uh, 10 years. <laughs> Maybe I was partying a little bit too much in between fights. Yeah. Cool, thank you. Uh, going back to your last fight with judges, there's a hot topic right now about open scoring. I'm just cur- curious what your thought is about that. Uh, I think the, uh, the, the open scoring is, would be better for fighters, but it would be uh, not as good for the show. And uh, it's show business, so I don't think it should stay like this. Uh, but for sure, for us fighters, it would be a lot better to uh, to be uh, to uh, to make it uh, open. But uh, it that's it's for the show. I mean, it's a uh, it's show business. Like uh, uh, yeah, it's cool to 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 make a living from from a, uh, from from a sport. But the truth is, we we do it for other people. Uh, we do it for people that look at it, and it's much more exciting when you don't know the outcome much more exciting it's much more exciting for everything for betting for uh, to to watch the fight so i do think it should stay like this uh, but do i think it would be better for fighters yeah of course what if there was a way for you guys to see the scores but not the public to see the scores well then it would be semi-open scoring <laughs> yeah, yeah so i don't think that's possible mm-hmm. uh, because the betting perspective is so big mm. and uh, it would be too complicated could too complicated you, we have to uh, like we have to understand that sport, the betting in sport is so big. There's so much, so much money uh, in there, and uh, probably if there was no betting, there would no uh, be no sports. And uh, I mean, it's too, it's too important. So uh, I, I, I don't think it's possible. I think uh, there is uh, already enough uh, gangster in sports. And uh, if you, we want more gangster, we, we should be uh, we should do your idea, and I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, just a fun one: who do you see in the finals? I'm assuming you are on one side. Who are you facing? Um, after Matthew, I do think Color is the best. Yeah, I do think Color. Uh, well, I mean, he beat Pettis, and I think it's it's pretty clear what PFL uh, want. They they want Stephens and Pettis in the tournament, mm-hmm. and it's completely un- understandable. If I was the Ray, I would think the same. I think that the these two are the two biggest name, and the, you want them to be on the you know, on the tournament to make a PFL grow. Um, but I don't. I, I do not think both of them are the best. I think Color is the big ten. Well, he already beat beat them. Uh, but uh, I think colored uh, in final would be a really tough match. Thank you. You mentioned how influential betting is for the sport. Are you ever aware of the odds going in, and have you ever considered betting on yourself? Uh, I never consider betting on myself because every fight I bet on myself. 
uh, in the meaning that if I lose, I lose half uh, my <laughs> half my pay. So uh, it's already a pretty big bet. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember uh, last UFC fight, uh, people were like, "Oh, you should bet on yourself. Like you're a plus 200." I was like, "Bro, I don't know, man. I, if I lose, I'm al already losing 33,000 uh, bucks. So mm -hmm. I think I'm, uh, I'm gonna take it easy on this one." Um, but uh, yeah, no, I never bet on myself. Um, uh, I'm sponsored by Bet99, so uh, I follow uh, all the, the, the bets and everything, and actually do a podcast about that. Uh, I think it's a really interesting uh, way to, uh, to, watch, uh, uh, to watch the fight. And it's like, if you want to win uh, with betting, it's really, really, com really complicated. Uh, I think people do not understand how uh, hard it is to, to win at the, uh, at the end of the year. Um, but yeah, no, I, I never thought about betting for myself, and of course, I never thought about betting against myself. Um, but yeah, I would have liked to be uh, at the PFL event uh, six months ago. Mm -hmm. That was pre recorded? <laughs> yeah, the pre recorded one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would be happy. <laughs> Haush has a habit of keeping every fight razor close, uh, and you're coming off of a split decision. Do you have any difference in your game plan as to separate yourself in, in the octagon? It's pretty funny. I think you're the first one that see, uh, see that from all the interviews I did. Um, everybody was telling me about the, the big KO he did last, uh, last fight, and they were like, oh, are you scared of the, his KO power? I was like, bro, he's not known for his KO power. He's known for stealing round. Stealing closer, uh, la uh, like what do you say that? Uh, closer. The razor thin, razor, razor thin, razor, yeah. razor thin around. So he's really good at uh, at uh, stealing those. And I think that's the big thing. I have to be careful. Uh, I think I have to. Uh, uh, it have to be clear uh, that I I win every round. Uh, but yeah, for sure, the, it's gonna be a different fight. Uh, him and. Uh, and uh, Schultz have a really different style. And uh, I don't even think you're gonna be able to compare uh, the, the two styles I'm gonna have in the, in, the, in the cage for this fight. It's gonna be like so much, uh, even from the other fight. I mean, Manfio is so different than everybody I fought. Um, uh, and I said that before, he's such a gamer. Like if you go to toe to toe with him, you go to toe to toe. If you wanna play the, uh, the waiting game is he's playing the waiting game. He have he have some power. I mean, he 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 carried the match last fight, but he hurt a lot of uh, of uh, his uh, last opponent. I think he hurt Perez, uh, who was at the time concussed maybe three times by color, but still he hurt him, uh, and he hurt uh, Loic too in the mm -hmm. in the final. But I do think his best performance last year was against Loic. Um, but yeah, he's a he's, he's a tricky fighter. Manfio is a really tricky fighter. I, I really think I should have fought him in the in the tournament. Thank you. I was gonna ask um, when you kind of compare Hausch and your um, resumes. Obviously, I think it's a no-brainer that you fought the tougher opponents. You've mm -hmm. gained a lot more experience. Do you think that's something that's gonna give you an advantage coming into this fight? Uh, I don't think he's gonna give me an advantage, but I do think I fought a, like a better guy from them than him, and uh, I he, I fought better guy that he fought too. So. Uh, an advantage? I don't think so. I don't think it's a there's an advantage. I mean, every up and comer uh, at that point, like they, they didn't fight anybody uh, big until they fight the the big guy and they KO him. Like you can remember uh, Conor McGregor, uh, that everybody was saying he have no uh, experience compared to uh, Aldo, uh, but he knocked him out in ten seconds. So uh, no, I don't think there's an advantage. Uh, I think he. Probably, well, both of us are coming in this fight um, with a lot of, uh, like, come on, how do you say that? Like, um, we are sure that we're gonna win. Uh, confidence. confidence. Because we are the only two guys in the division that are undefeated uh, in PFL. Uh, he didn't win, he didn't lose uh, last year. I didn't lose last year. I'm 3 0 in the PFL. I think it's 4 0 in the PFL. Um, so, yeah, it's. Is it for, uh, foreign? Or? Yeah, foreign. Uh, so I think it's really, really no. It's five and in the PFL. Uh, so I, th I think it's a really interesting matchup. Uh, I think uh, I do think for big fans, it's the best fight of the night. You know, uh, I really think so. 
Um, I wanted to ask um, your last opponent, uh, Schultz, was actually Memphis, you know, friend and mm -hmm. training partner. Yeah. Um, so, is there anything you learn in your fight with him that you think is going to be applicable in this upcoming fight? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, like I said, uh, the, those style, uh, those two guys have two different style. Um, the thing with uh, Schultz, he was really weaponizing his uh, cardio and his uh, shin. Uh, Wait, Shin is this? Yeah. Chin, yeah. Chin. 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 Okay, Chin. Mm -hmm. um, so he was really good to weaponize those two things. Uh, and Manfio is not the same. He is, he is truly not the same. Uh, he has really, really good cardio, but he is really, really not the same. Uh, so I think it's going to be different. Do I, did I learn anything? Not really. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I mean, I'm so different than GSP, I'm so different than everybody, but they, they train at the same gym uh, as I am. So the uh, best example is me and Mendel Nalo from the Bellator. Like there's two opposite styles, but we're at the same gym. It doesn't mean that if somebody fights me, he's going to know something crazy about that Mendel. So no, I don't think I have any advantage uh, with that. Okay. Um, and obviously, you know, Schultz was also like the 2019 champion, a two-time mm -hmm. champion. Um, so coming up a win off of that, does that give you some sort of like confidence boost or change your mentality, you know, fighting the 2021 champion? Oh uh, yeah, but well, like I, I said that, uh, I think in my last interview, in my last fight, I, I really think Schultz is the, uh, one of the toughest uh, opponents in the, in the division. Um, Manfio is uh, is up there too, but I, I do think Schultz was a more trickier uh, fighter. Um, but yeah, I mean, confidence. Uh, like, what's confidence? I think I, I'm done with uh, with uh, being confident. You know, I'm just doing it because I, I like it right now. Uh, and I was a little bit uh, stressed uh, during my last fight because because I was truly like not stress. So I was stressing for not for not stressing. I was like, well, like. I'm fighting in 30 minutes and I like I, I don't care like I just want to be here and I be uh, fight the guy and be in vacation after and it was a really weird uh, experience and uh, I think I feel the same this time I just I, like I just wanted to uh, to happen that, that's it like I, I was always scared of the uh, that moment uh, before but now I just wanted to happen um, and I think it's really interesting maybe it's because of the PFL format that you have to fight really close uh, uh, quickly uh, every fight um, so right now I'm just looking for the next fight so I can fight uh, after you know so it's a it's it's an interesting uh, shift of mentality I, fi I find uh, for me uh, the last uh, well it was it started the last fight actually um, uh, but I don't remember the, 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 the question but uh, I think that's my answer okay and last question is just you know what kind of statement are you trying to make by beating Manfield Oh, I think if I beat Manfio, like, everybody knows, you know, everybody knows, yeah. I think. Okay, thank you. Okay. That's it? Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. I just have a